It's the Stairs Cup here at Ascot. Listed race for horses over two mile two furlongs. Stay for another, Joshua Sutherland. Arthur's Pass, Craig Allen. Broken Promise, Ryan Tamasebi. Epic Amigo, Alex Ince. Going Under, Padraig Hogan. Illustrated, Craig Beckwith. Marco Van Basten for Satyam. Prometheus, your favourite, Leon Van Rensburg. Walk the Line for Ryan Tamasebi. Gold Match and Arrival for Satyam. Kuiping East, Vinnie Gerrard. Spartak, Philly, Graham Clutterbuck. Underground, Craig Beckwith. Wink, Stan Hughes. Harrow on the Hill for Darren Thompson. And Royal Longbow for Jim Murray. Complete your lineup. They are off and running here in the Ascot Stairs Cup. So... Naturally, a few of these horses tried to win the big one, the gold cup at Ascot, but of course it was Mr. Yates for Paul Rhodes that won that one and tried his very best to follow up over a shorter trip at Glorious Goodwood in the Goodwood Cup, and just failing, and uh, it was Libra Eddy that took that prize. So we don't have the gold cup champ here today, but we have some horses that were in that race and just came, uh, came up short, including Illustrated, who's got some really good form on offer. Um, some really good placed efforts for Craig Beckwith. Arthur's pass, Kuiping East. Broken Promise, the early leader for my stable, that one. Tried its best at Ascot, but ultimately came up short and walked the line. And the other from my stable in the red and blue silks over on the rail, racing about seventh place at the moment. That one actually won uh, the, the finale at Royal Ascot, the Queen Alexandra Stakes over two mile five. So we know that one stays. But uh, looking to follow up over a slightly shorter distance here today. That one definitely doesn't have the class to pick up a gold cup. But can it pick up this Stayers Cup? It's Broken Promise that's burst out in the early lead. First time I've seen uh, mine make the run in this season. Especially going out so far in the lead uh, so early on. Uh, opening up a lead of a good seven lengths already over Royal Longbow. Walk the line. Just edging forward into second place. Marco Van Basten, the wide outside. Uh, it'll have to be a good horse to be as good as its namesake was at football. But Marco Van Basten, the grey horse, moves forward into second place now. But this lead is still being set in a pretty decent gallop as well for a two-mile, two-furlong race. Broken Promise is really going a good clip. And this is going to be a real test of stamina. That one's for, that's for, for sure today. So Broken Promise still with a good lead over Marco Van Basten walk the line on the rail royal longbow just on the outside of that one gold match in arrival uh, another gray horse and again for the same stable as marco van basten that one just racing in fifth place on the inside of stay for another in the black and red hooped silks of joshua sutherland that one's on the inside of winks i think it's fair to say that that's not quite as good as the australian uh, version of winks the superstar horse that one was winks Definitely short of superstar status, but with all due respect, I'm sure that one will pick up a couple of prizes over the course of the season nonetheless. Uh, racing on the outside of Epic Amigo and on the inside of Harrow on the Hill, who's racing widest of all. Stay for another's just dropped back in behind those and is racing just ahead of Illustrated. And looking for the favourite Prometheus in the dark blue silks. That one's just been ridden along for a few paces to start making some progress, but it's still the two. From my stable up front at the moment, Broken Promise still has the lead, albeit a much reduced advantage uh, compared to earlier in the race. And Walk the Line is really starting to make some smooth progress and perhaps travelling the stronger of the two for a moment there. But Broken Promise is now kicking on again and trying to put these under some pressure, swinging right-handed and starting to head towards home. Three and a half furlongs just just less than three and a half furlongs now it's the three furlong marker they've just passed there and it's broken promise that still has the lead is trying to do that what is such a difficult thing to do particularly in a stay and race like this and that's lead from start to finish with broken promise as we hit the two furlong marker still has a lead of a few lengths advantage spartic philly now the one that's moved into second prometheus looking a real danger for leon van rensburg and moving up into a share of second place there royal longbow and walk the line staying on as well and broken promise is now really going to start facing some challenge but it's only got half a furlong left to try and hold on it's broken promise Spartak Philly Prometheus are really pressing hard on the outside Broken Promise needs the line but gets it pretty sure he managed to just hold off all challenges there Spartak Philly really came with a strong challenge down the outside Prometheus just ran out of steam there looked a real danger as we came towards the furlong marker and the half furlong pole as well but Broken Promise came into the season with a lot of promise I definitely thought he was the best stayer in my stable and 
I was quite confident for an Ascot Gold Cup challenge, but it just fallen short of that group class. But puts on a really good performance there to win the Ascot Stayers Cup from pillar to post, start to finish, led the whole way. Spartak Philly nearest at the finish, but just denied by a head. Prometheus third, Royal Longbow fourth, and walk the line. Uh, it says an unlucky run there, but I don't ever think it was going to win in fifth for my stable as well.